Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will introduce you to the R and R Studio. So let's go to the second slide and know a little bit more about R. So as you can see here in couple of boxes, I have highlighted couple of the features of R where R is basically an object oriented and open source uh, programming language which is a statistician's pref preferred programming language for doing the data development or data product development. It is extensible enough to adapt the new features and requirements and these are basically being developed by thousands of developers out there who is contributing to the R project. As I mentioned that R is a preferred language for statisticians for doing the data analysis work that's why it has become a must-have skills for the aspiring data scientist. If you are seeing this video, that means you are pretty much interested in doing this statistical analysis work and which is something uh, being covered under the one of the positions, one of the most needed position of data scientists across the organization where organizations wants to hire those folks who are really good in statistics, know the programming languages like R, Python, etc. for doing the data analysis work and they are hiring under the designation of data scientist. So if you are an aspiring data scientist, this is a programming language that you should know for doing the work. So let's move on to the next slide and see from where you can install the R. As you can see here the web address www.rproject.org. So let me go in there and show you this, the R project for statistical computing. So this is the group who govern this R releases and sector information. And this is a website from where you can download the R. So R can be downloaded from this link over here or you can go to the CRAN network. So CRAN is nothing but an acronym for Comprehensive R Archive Network. So these are basically the location which is near to your country. Uh, where you are working and uh, you can go in in there and download the R software. So if I've, I've just clicked it, so if I am near to Australia, I can go to this website and download and install the R software for my operating system. So R is available for to download for Windows, Mac or Linux OS, which is which can be your preferred OS. You can download it and install it. So installation is also pretty much straightforward where you, a setup file is being given to you. You just need to run the setup like any other setup that you may have installed in your system and installed R. So apart from this uh, information where you need, you can download and install the R, you can actually have a lot of information about the R project. As if you are a beginner, it's, it is important that you know a little bit about R, who are the contributors, mailing links, how the bug tracking happens, where the conferences are conferences are happening and if you have some information that you want to search that you go to that option. And apart from this if you are interested in knowing the members, board members, how it was founded, who are the donors etc. You can go into these different links and uh, figure out that information. If you are interested in getting some kind of documentation then you can go under this section where manuals, FAQs which is frequently asked questions our journals, books, certification, other information is present there. Apart from this, some other related information like bioconductor related projects information. If you are interested in this, you can go into this location. So this is basically a one single website where you can find a lot of information about R, their contributors and related information about the R software. So once you have installed the R, then you will find uh, the, the icons in your either or, and at your desktop if you have chose the option or within the programs menu if you are using the windows so i'm using the windows so i have the uh, <coughs> r icon in there so i'll open the r environment from here so once you have opened the r environment it looks like this so whenever you will first open it it will show you some of this information about uh, what is r which version it is so since i have just cleared the information by some shortcut which i will show you in some moment uh, then uh, all of that extra information which is displayed over here can be cleared. So something like if I just type the version information then all of this version is, is given information is given to me on which year and which month 
all of this information and if I need to clear this I can hit Control L so which is nothing but clean the scheme screen so as you can see it is a command prompt uh, like a normal command prompt which you usually find in Windows where you can run uh, some series of commands or program and uh, do the desired data analysis operation so this is how uh, you can enter the command and do a little bit of uh, housekeeping option by entering command like control L but if you are not sure about a particular command or a particular uh, uh, script then you can actually enter take a help by putting question mark in front of it and then enter the information so let's say if I'm just entering question mark and let's say we have a command like L LM which is a linear model so I'll just enter LM over here and press enter as soon as I will press the enter a new window is being opened within the within Chrome and giving me the information about the LM so LM is to fit linear model and all that sort of information how you can use this what are the arguments that you need to specify if I go down I will find more information a lot of details about this particular command and at the end some example is given here to basically uh, walk you through about how this command work and how you can utilize this to perform your data analysis operation so this is how you can take and help by entering a question mark and then entering the name of the command if something is uh, uh, not as a command let's say I enter mm which is I don't know I think it should be nothing in uh, R so I enter then information come no documentation for mm is specified in packages and libraries however you can try double question mark mm that means it will search through a whole lot of uh, packages which are installed in the system and then figure out wherever it can find this mm word so let's just quickly enter double question mark and put mm and then press enter and here you can see wherever it could have find this word mm it, it have just shown the help information so not pretty much relevant for now so let's just close it but sometimes it is very much useful where you can if you cannot find it by a standard question mark method the help then you can enter double question mark so similar to R uh, which is a very standard and basic interface for doing the analysis work by writing commands etc within the R you can actually have and install R studio so let's go to our presentation I think the next section I have is RGUI and R Studio. So RGUI we have re just uh, we have seen that. We also have R Studio, which is a very professional and uh, advanced um, programming environment for R, where you can do a uh, lot of things simultaneously, like uh, having script in one window, packaging, and object information. All of that thing is being displayed. So before further talking, let me just show you the so this is the R environment in which you can do a lot of data analysis work if you can see it is comparatively very advanced environment as compared to the normal R environment which is this and here you can have you are just having one single window in which you can just write the command but here you can have the command right over on the left hand side on the right hand side you will find the information about the objects that you are creating down there at the uh, bottom right you have a lot of sub tabs where you can have the files information uh, which is uh, your files in the system the plots that means the graphics that you will be generating the bar chart etc packages information help information weird information which we will be exploring in the coming videos so this is a, a comparatively advanced and mostly used among the R developers environment uh, which helps us managing our task efficiently and uh, effectively so let's quickly sh uh, let me show you quickly how you can install download and install the R so here is this website which is rstudio.com so in this website you can go and download rstudio from this <coughs> option so once you click on this link uh, it will give you the option of uh, which uh, for which uh, 
version you want to or which type of operating system you want to install the R like for desktop or for server first of all if you are going under desktop then whether you are installing it for Mac or OS, Windows OS or Linux depends on your preference preference uh, operating system or the one which you are using so once you install it again uh, standard development uh, standard installation package that you will find once it is installed you will find the icons to have this environment up and running for you like a normal any other program which you install here also uh, the help etc information can be accessed very easily something like by entering the question mark lm and then help information is in displayed over here as you can see uh, the difference between a normal R environment and the R studio environment that there in the normal R environment if we are using the question mark to get the help on the command then the Internet Explorer or the Chrome page was opening in a separate window but here the help information is getting displayed in the same package which is far more convenient because you can just look through over here and start performing your operation on the left hand side by entering the relevant commands so this is a quick overview or a, a quick introduction i wanted to give about r and r studio a little bit and wanted to tell a little bit about how you can do a search or do find the examples by using the command question mark and then the command name so i'll meet you in the new next few videos where we will build the step-by-step -step knowledge into uh, doing in, into figuring out how we can do the data analysis work in R. So I will meet you in the new video with a new topic. Till then, bye bye.